today we're going to be participating in another video of the four horsemen the mud rod uh, this casting was shipped by jeff over at 164th revival so here it is all taken apart i've done i think two in the past i've done wheel swaps so the goal here is to make it a convertible there it is i cut the roof off i also cut the the windshield look so i could when i put it back together i used the dremel with a cutting disc and when i put it back together i'm just going to use uh, a little bit of glue to hold the windshield here i'm putting it back together so you can see get an idea on how it's going to look there it is isn't that beautiful roll the credits thank you for watching just all right guys so you can see i use a i cut a piece of brass and i also cut the post from the roof i installed it back in the car with a 256 screw and then i basically uh, i glued everything back together with some uh, two-part epoxy that way the car i could put the car back together with both screws so here it is with the wheel swap no paint i have a bunch of these uh, five spokes now i can use uh, both screws and basically once painted it, it, it'll look it'll look like an original Hey, why don't you click that bottom right corner right there. See what happens. All right, so that's the interior. You can see the post is back in there. And this is the engine I'm going to use. It's a straight six Toyota 2JC Supra engine. Supra. I bought that a long time ago. I don't remember where I got it. So a straight six only has heathers on one side not both it's not a v8 so whoever designed this car committed that boo-boo they put heathers on both sides with a straight six engine it looks good not accurate though so the engine, the Toyota engine, I put it together with a little bit of Gorilla Gel Glue. Then I went to town with some two-part epoxy to hold everything in place. And this is what we started with. The Mod Rod. And this is what we ended up with. The paint is Rattle Can. Duplicolor from AutoZone. Duplicates original GM color the name is bahama blue metallic for the interiors i use vallejo airbrush uh, black primer and then i use vallejo durelinium 77.702 with a manual brush through everything then i used uh, a experimenting with some candy paint and I use a little brush to do the top of the valve cover and the wheels are also another candy paint that I'm experimenting with in orange so more on that in the, f the future the back there um, I use a bronze sharpie and uh, the seat you've seen the, that paint before that's uh vallejo vomit if you squint your eyes it'll look like a fine italian leather look at that you saw that paint job on the rat rod four horsemen build all right guys so here at the end of the video i'm going to post like oh like always i'm going to post uh links to the 
channels of the other guys that are participating. And remember, I always put the video on a playlist so you could check everybody that's participating. Next month, El Camino, 80 El Camino, and the theme is shiny paint. So if you want to participate, make sure you get that casting. We post the very last day of the month. I hope to see you around. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Peace out.